This is what happens. Okay, we are now 2-0 down. And my opponent is left with Inspired Zeal. Inspired Zeal from Blue Coin. And I am Red Coin. So, don't bring Alza to a tournament? How dare you, sir? How very dare you? Alza is an incredible card. Okay. So, opponent only has one list left. Siege Inspired Zeal. Geralt's Laughing Wanderers was just BM, yeah. Yeah, that's not the score. I'm 2-0 down. I just haven't edited it. Uh, I will do that now. Uh... Don't change it. It's not true. There we go. Um, okay. Mm. I guess I take Nilfgaard. I've got it. Mm. I need to win round one. That's the problem, right? I need to win round one. So, the difficulty here is, am I going to do that with my list? Uh, there's a chance, I suppose. It's just awkward. Yeah, because I, I need to bleed the siege out, right? I need to bleed the siege out. That's the problem. Did you edit the score back? Uh, or did I just not edit it correctly? Okay. Well. <clears throat> I guess we'll take this. Um, no. Okay. Okay. So, this is a triple dual siege list. Okay, better looking round one hand, though, tempo-wise. Awkward for these. Like, these three cards round one are kind of ass, but... Okay. 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 <laughs> Okay. Now, you're not running alumni, so this isn't actually as scary as it could have been. So I can just double blight... Uh, see, I've got all of my thinning this time, which is much better. Much, much better. Does, you missed Raffards? Well, you're setting up Raffards. Either way, I'm... Like, Raffards is my yen target, because obviously the synergy with mages for me is also great. You have no Purify in Northern Realms, but I just... I'm not overly convinced I necessarily want to lock it, although it is very tempting. I'll hold for now, because you're not going to use it right now. You're not running Alumni anyway, so you are running a Shani, I guess. Okay, you just had Raffards and you're going to play it and seal it. Fine. Get the damage. This card? Absurd. Um... Ooh, unlucky though, the Caraballista. I think I'm supposed to steal this and lock this now. So, thank you. Okay, in terms of lock targets, long around Gerhardt, I mean, the Varaxis you're never holding, the, but the Anse is the Selkirk. Uh... Because it's he's running a Shani, doesn't have many targets for the Shani. I'm gonna steal this from his damn graveyard anyway, it doesn't matter. He's never gonna get to Shani it, right? Because then I just play it. Go down that route. Mm. 
Okay, siege engine wise, you have a single ballista. Um, two reinforced ballistas, two caro ballistas. So you've only got and Raffard's Vengeance. So there's only three siege engines left. There was also an argument I should actually have mage tortured the Raffards first because it didn't have before I yend it actually got the engine down on the board gave myself the chance to create another one that may actually have been better which I'm kind of annoyed at myself for but here we are that's the world we live in uh, we need the tempo here so okay I forgot these were engine based now that's a big buff to this Of the options available... Okay, the winch is nice there. Yeah, the winch pairing with those is really good. I think... Okay, that may... Okay, doesn't want to lose on even. Doesn't want to lose on even. I, can, I just dead man's tongue instead then for now. Um, so, cards I don't really want to play... It's the spies, right, at this point. The Diplos aren't amazing here. It's not like I'm looking to grab a Simless. Um, the Emissary, I, I don't need to do any blocking particularly. The odds of him swarming too much, zero. Um, so I guess Emissary goes. The Informant could be useful. So I think we get rid of an Emissary. I think I get rid of it. the Diplo does create, but this also creates and more consistently. Yeah, pass was coming all day long. It's one of the things I was worried about, but. I think I'm supposed to take the Caraballista over... I'm supposed to drop this Mage Torturer to give myself setup, right? This playing at four... I mean, I could just play this at four, I guess. But I want the value of the unit it's going to spawn. So I'm inclined to say I'm supposed to take a Caraballista instead and drop the Mage Torturer. So now I need, I now need to see the siege, right? I'm going to take this anyway, right? And I think I need that kind of yesterday. Um, yeah, I'm not going into a long round against siege. We have the Raffard's Vengeance, which, which feels delicious. Um, do I need both of those? No. Don't really want both of those. Mm, the Illusionists... Problem is the illusionists are going to play into the range row, which I don't love. And I'm missing so many gold cards here. I kind of can't afford. Okay. Uh, I'm going to open Remedy and we're just going to take this. It's the only Shani setup there is. Um, yeah. Then I can Raffard's Vengeance. Um, and then I can play this illusionist and then set it up. Knowing my luck, I draw another anyway. Okay. Okay, bombardment in, no problem. Now, I can't zeal this, but in this list, Raffard's dies. There's no way we don't get a duel here, right? It's running Anseis and Selkirk. And a boiling oil, actually. The boiling oil's kind of sus. The boiling oil's kind of sus for us.
And the problem is, I have to play this illusionist into the back row for the Caro Ballista. Which is not great. I don't have coup. I don't have access to coup unless I draw Menno. One in five. It's not great. Um... Long round three? No. Long round three against Siege Triple Duel, I have lost already, I think. I'm good in a long round, um, but I'm not I'm not convinced that's gonna be winning me the game. You know what I mean? Okay, front row, kill the Caro Ballista. Fine. Um Yeah, this is triple duel, hundred percent. Um It's the Raffards target. Yep. Yes, it was. I was supposed to play the Raffards. Uh, well, it looks like I'm not doing that now. Uh, that's a problem. Eh. Oh, well. Uh, Raffards for dual bait. Yeah, it kind of has to be now. First aid to that. We're still playing it anyway, yeah. Okay. Is it... <clears throat> Worst case scenario, there's a boiling oil sat in hand. Okay, not dueling. Okay, sweet. I'll take the Ansei's train on that. Very happily. Um, okay. Now, I can use this and actually play the winch from the graveyard, right? The winch from the graveyard here really isn't terrible from this Lydia. Because obviously it will pair with the Caraballista. The winch itself is going to play for 5, 6, 7, plus the Lydia value is 12. Hmm. I feel like I'm supposed to be like... Ooh, you only have two siege engines left, by my calculations. You have one... No. Yeah, you have one more of these and one standard ballista left. That might be a mistake, but... And if I was going to do it, I should have done it earlier, but we are where we are. Realism. Mm. The fact that I'm just jamming back row here against Siege. Oh, he wants to hold the Siege, which means in theory I'm supposed to keep going, right? You have to click straight away. You're going to pack the Onsays just in case. Okay. I have got... If I draw this, it's playing for nine. This is playing for points. This is... Oh, that would be amazing, actually. And this is also fine. That would be terrible. Fur cart would be, like, god mode right now. Brathens isn't terrible, let's be real. Uh... There's no Baron in this list, but there is the ability to play uh, Varaxxus now. Plays the Varaxxus now, duels, he will kill, and that would be a real problem for us. But it also means it's gone. So it will depend on that, really. 
I maybe I should have clicked this and not and just ignored the carryover to try and deny or threaten the pass. There's the Varaxis. So Varaxis does this. Hmm. Not what I expected. Um I suppose it's the, the highest value he's going to grab. Could have given it another... Yeah, I suppose. Um, okay. Options that I currently have from Arto Terranova. I basically have a Bannard student, which is terrible. So I guess it's bribery. Oh. Okay, the Selkirk's going to come out and duel that. And the Selkirk gets you ahead. Which sucks for me. I now have a decision. Oh, no, it's a Caro Ballista I took. I took the Caro Ballista deliberately. I'm down by two. I'm down by one. This is going to be... Four... 5, 10, 11, right? This is going to be 11 points. The oh, I mean, if Menno into Coup here would have just been gorgeous instead. Uh, okay. Am I supposed to do it? Short round. What's my opponent got left? My opponent has got... Shani. My opponent literally has Shani left. Okay, there's the siege. There's the dead Shani, right? Yes! Yes! Let's go! Okay. Let's go! Shani was the only good card left. That was... I mean, let's be real. That was luck. That was... We had more left, I think, but if I, I had to commit, like, I had to commit there. I had no other choice but to commit there, I don't think. Um, had to commit there, because if I don't, if I don't push there, I lose, because I'm not winning that long round against the jewels and the siege and all that BS. I'm not winning that round. So I have to push, and I have to push till I get siege out. Okay. Yeah, and, uh, okay. I'm Nilfgaard. Yeah, okay. The bribery into Shani was kind of ridiculous. And if I if the boot were on the other foot and I were Moon Cry, I'd be like, yeah, of course. I mean, Christ, we got uh, we didn't just get that either. We had other stuff. Um, it, what was it, Gerhardt as well? We saw Gerhardt, Shani, and I didn't see the other one because as soon as I saw Shani, I was like, yep. Okay. There's no way Alza lets me down twice, right? Like, there's no way I'm gonna brick my draws in round one, get two ones. From Alza, th that's not happening, right? I feel like that's not going to be a thing that happens this time, right? Right? Okay, no bricks. I require zero bricks. That's the hand. That's actually the hand. 
right? This spores is sus, but as soon as I mulligan, I mulligan into the entire wall of BS in my deck. The only thing missing is the Simless, uh, but he is Inspired Zeal. He has no graveyard interaction, so I haven't got to worry about my Aneuromancy getting yeeted. I so want to greed it, but I'm not going to. Okay. Odds are Dunker is going to get... I have three mulligans. Yeah, but they're both going to be bricks, dude. This is just not worth it. You know what I mean? Okay. Has dual cards, can easily come and deal with this, of course, or could go down the standard route, and of course, of course, it is Raffard's Vengeance. What else could it possibly be but Raffard's Vengeance here? My instant, my instant reaction is to board clear. My instant reaction is to board clear. By you... Uh, so... Bang. And then click. No. We're not going to do that. Sorceress is, Sorceress is a card I want to get down. Sorceress is never surviving, right? I mean, I'd be stunned if he lets a Sorceress survive. Absolutely stunned if this Sorceress survives a turn. Um, this should get dueled out of its existence in like three seconds flat. Or really irritatingly boiling oiled. That's, that is what it is. Um... Another. I think I want this dead. I think I want this dead. The problem is the carry overall sits on this elven seer. But... <clears throat> Winning this round's imp I can't kill it. Can't kill it now anyway, so just let the we'll just do the thing. If it dies, it dies. Probably wants to use it to turn it off and hope I can't do anything. You're gonna play the very nice. That's decent. But this is also now switched off at three, which feels great for us. Other things you can play at mm. You're, hmm. I need six points here, not five. That's a problem, because I don't really want to play the eight. But I can play the eight, I guess. Maybe I do just play the eight. Keeps me ahead, right? Because you can't... Without dueling this, you can't kill this. So let's make you have the duel card. It's the least likely you are to have it. Right? You can duel it down, no problem. You click, and then you play the duel card. You haven't played Amphibious Assault yet, which sucks for us, because you've drawn very talentedly. But I'd be very surprised if one of the two doesn't sit in your hand, which is fine. Annoying, but we are where we are. So he's going to get a pass now. He's going to get a pass now. So do I just... Oh, no, wait, I'm on blue. Ah, balls. I'm on blue coin. That's not ideal. You play for six. Uh, so it's this and leader then, right? Is that right? I need 12. You are going to be six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sixteen. Yeah, okay, we're fine. Um, is this enough? They're going to have to kill this. 
But do you have the answer in hand? Because you have no more 5p removal, right? So unless you also happen to have Ansays in hand, um, then... Okay, now... I'm going to do something a little weird here. Because if I play... Mm, no, I, I've got to take it, right? I just... I have to take the Simless. Simless, triple orb, but then I have to pass. The other option is I drop the solve now and don't set it up. Because it still keeps me ahead, right? Because if I... T I need to win the round, right? Long round is Monka Christ for us. I need to win the round. Round control is way more important. I know you think I'm crazy here. Because actually... The pass for Mooncrow might be the one now. Because he's thinking, well, hang on, I've got rid of both of your Elven Seers. I know you don't have any more 5p removal. You run one Boiling Oil and Anseys. If you had Anseys, you'd have used it. Sweet. Now I can play it. Now I can play it, because it's even more points. So now, now it is seamless. The problem is I'm telegraphing, you know, I'm out of here now, right? Okay, I am up 6, 12. I think I turn the carryover off. Right? So I'm up 15. I don't want my opponent to be able to do it in one card. So I think I'm in the situation here where that's what I have to do. Yeah, up 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. My opponent would need 16 points. Which I don't think is a possible swing. Unless my maths is... Yeah, my maths is right. At the moment, they need 13. Then these are going to click. Also, could be getting to the point where it's awkward for them as well, right? Hasn't AA'd yet. Probably wants to use the AA not in this round. Or hasn't found it. But Sintry and Envoy, you're assuming, is going to set up some pretty freaking painful top decks for me. Oh, has the Natalis into AA. Oof. Although, forgot to click. Didn't click here, so has lost a point, right? That's... I've got to pass. I now have to pass. Have to pass. Opponent probably dry takes the dry pass here. Oh, and has a winch. Oh, okay. So has only played two reinforced, but uh, two of those has five. So three, sorry, because they played Raffards as well, right? So three of the six. Um, Siege Engines have been played. So we lose round control. I would wager... and I mean, my opponent's got... You would wait... Like, you'd think three great top decks had three clicks of Sintry and Envoy, right? Okay. Game, I need a unit. Not that one! Not that one! Oh, God. Gwent, why? Any other unit? Any other unit? Without this in the long round, I'm dead in the water, right? I can't play any of these cards 
except Alza. I actually have to just play the Alza. And just hold the carryover. That is soul destroying. If I play the harvest, I lose the orbs. The Alza is useless anyway. If I play harvest, all of my orbs come out, guys. Okay. I mean, I have access to everything else I want, but... It's kind of redundant at this point. Okay. Am I just trying to get this to carry? Here's the thing, right? <clears throat> I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to Bountiful Harvest because the created Bountiful Harvest card will play before the Whisperer, but I guess at this point we're going full greed, right? And am I playing into the ranged row even though Siege is coming? I guess, yes. It's just gonna Shani. No, I can't double Zeal. Doesn't need to. This just dies. It just dies. Oh, this is so pain. Okay, this Alza list has done me dirty. Yeah, okay. Play this. This should get jeweled. This should get jeweled. Because it's the only remaining damage you've got left that can kill it. Right? That's fine. Okay, now it's Bountiful Harvest. Bountiful Harvest, nice. Oh no, because the orbs are wasted. Okay, so I lose four points of vitality out of the six. I mean, okay, these spawning is pretty decent, but I also need to kill this. Okay, there's the siege. <laughs> I think it's better to... This is going to now play for all of the value here, right? Yeah, I probably should have played this, yeah. I should have played it from the Forest Protector, but I didn't want to have no units in hand. So I'm going for as much greed as possible, right? So... Varaxxus could play on Shani instead, and there are plenty of humans. Um, so I take the uh, hope that you don't have Varaxxus. Oh, so I play the Forest Protector first, then. Um, Forest Protector goes here. Into another Bountiful Harvest. Into... I mean... Not Whisperer. No. Mm, yeah, Whisperer was probably better on the range row. Whisperer range row could have been better, I guess. So you're going to hit that now. This is sad, right? This is really sad. <clears throat> they can't stop two. They, they're not going to stop one by the look of it. Okay. The fact that I now cut off. Oh. It's not worth not using the Gourd, right? The Gourd is 15 points. You are going to be 6... 7... Okay. Oh, actually... Wait. Gourd plays at plus 3. So Gourd is going to be 18 points from the Aniromancy. You are going to be 9... 10, 11, 12. That's actually more points. 
It's actually more points. The pact onto this from a Neuromancy is more points. Yeah, I could a Nero into Decree, right? A Nero Decree is 3, 6, it's 18. But this would be 6 double. If it dies to a Bombardment, then it dies to a Bombardment. But he's got to have the answer, right? Okay, never mind. Dies to the Bombardment. So now we a Nero Decree anyway. So, I'm up, I've got another six. I mean... Unless you can kill it? Can you not proc? Ah! Oh, he's got... Okay. It's what, a... Should have done it before? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I have to greed here. Um... So he's got a three and four chance of just resetting Gord anyway. Which I think is going to cost me the game. I mean, I'm still on 40. It still needs to find a decent chunk of points, right? Okay, finds it like that. I'm still up. 20. Okay. Alza did me dirty, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Two. Two.